What's up, lovelies? Your girl Tony is here, and today I have a must needed video. So, I have had this protective style in for a month now, and I have not done anything to my hair since I got it put in. I have not put any products in there, I have not washed it, I have not done anything. So, today I am going to show you guys how I refresh, revive, and shampoo my natural um, protective hairstyles. So as you can see, I have this headband on right now and that's because <laughs> the struggle is real. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. So I really need to wash my hair because I have so much flaking and dryness to my scalp. I'm about to tell y'all what it looks like. Look at that, you can even see the flakes coming off of this headband, like, that's terrible. I have pushed it off far too long just because of how busy my schedule is, but today is gonna be the day. We are going to get this scalp clean, refresh these kinky twists, and get this hair to popping, okay? I am just saturating my hair with water. I'm focusing more on my scalp and not just the kinky twist themselves. I just wanna make sure I get it nice and wet before I put the shampoo in. I'm using my handy dandy sulfur eight shampoo and this is gonna help get rid of all that product buildup and that nasty flakiness that's on my scalp. I'm putting a little bit of the shampoo just around my perimeter right now. Then I'm going to put it in my scalp thoroughly. I am splitting my hair in half. I'm going to put the left half away. Then I'm going to split the right side in half and then focus just on the front section. I'm putting a dollop of the Sulfur 8 on my hand. I'm rubbing it in my fingers and then I'm just scrubbing my scalp with my finger pads just to get every inch of my scalp clean. I am lathering the shampoo all over my entire head. I don't have an exact amount that I use. I just use enough until I feel like my scalp is clean. So I'm literally just gonna do that throughout my entire head to make sure I get every inch of my scalp. Lovelies, don't it feel good to just scrub your scalp and clean your scalp? It looks like I'm just putting myself to sleep. Got my eyes closing. Now I'm just washing out the shampoo. Y'all, I did a terrible camera job. Y'all can't see nothing. But I know everybody should know how to rinse their hair. Just rinse it until the water is clean and all of the product is out. Now I'm going to put a deep treatment mask for my conditioner just to make sure my hair stays moisturized. I like to use deep treatment mask because I feel like it prevents my hair from getting super dry, that it kind of has that extra oomph than just a regular conditioner. So I'm just taking a dollop and I'm literally putting it all over my hair. You can never put in too much conditioner so you can be as heavy handed as you want and you will not damage a thing. Be 
because my hair is so long, I am putting the conditioner throughout the strands of my twist as well to make sure that I am conditioning my natural hair as well. All right, y'all, so I just washed out the conditioner in my head. I kind of let it get a little bit of water in as I could out of the twist with this towel. <clears throat> but first, I'm going to go in with my Sulfur 8 um, medicated formula conditioning gel. I'm just going to take some in my fingers. I'm just going to warm it up so that it kind of melts. And I'm going to put this all over my scalp because that is what's going to help minimize the itchiness, the flaking, and basically make this style last a little longer before having to wash it again. So I'm just literally putting more and more on my fingertips, warming it up with the pads on my fingers and I'm just rubbing it in on my scalp. I love Sulfur 8 because once you rub it on your scalp, it gets that tingly, cooling sensation and I love that feeling. So I'm just putting it all over my head, my perimeter, like everywhere. And just so y'all can see y'all my scalp is so clean now like look at that oh that makes my scalp feel so good so now i'm going to use this curling style milk and it's really kind of like a curl defining cream but i'm going to use it kind of like a leave-in conditioner Like I'm almost out, y'all. Hold on. I know what's going to be here. Stop playing. There we go. <laughs> so I just got a little bit on my palm right now. I'm it in. And I'm going to just put it going down my twist. Because all my OGs and the Tony team know that my hair is pretty long. And actually, when I got my twist done, she said not to like cut it when I take it out because she pretty much twisted it to the end of my natural hair. So I'm just going to keep putting this on the width, the length of my kinky twist. And I'm going to use this as a leave in conditioner pretty much. Just got a little more. And don't worry about that white residue because it is going to dry when your twist air dry or you could take a blow dryer if you want it to dry much faster or if you have one of those sitting hair dryers or like the portable ones that'll work too so now that that is done i'm just going to seal it all in with my famous tea tree oil So I've got a good size amount and I'm just putting that on my twist as well just to seal in that moisture. Alright y'all, so that is it guys. My scalp is so clean, nice and refreshed. Now I can get a few more weeks out of this if I choose to, at least a couple weeks depending on how fast my hair keeps continuing to grow. Good morning, lovelies. Today is the next day, y'all, and my hair is looking so good. I done put some extra time on it, y'all. So as you can see, my scalp is really, really clean. There is no white residue. 
you can do your little baby hairs and stuff if you want to but i'm just doing it on natural today i hope you guys like this video make sure you like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell baby because i always got some content for you join the tony team if you have not already i'll see you guys in my next video peace out lovelies